What's up guys? Welcome to another Fat for Weight Loss recipe video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make keto bread rolls. These things are awesome. You have got to try them out. Quick, go, 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 go. Now the first step is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all of the dry ingredients in one bowl and all of the wet ingredients in the other bowl. So to start off with, I'm gonna take one cup of almond flour and I'm just gonna put that in the bowl like that. I'm gonna take a quarter cup of golden flax seeds or golden lin seeds. And now if you don't have this, you can also just use a little bit more almond flour as well. Um, I have just ground these from lin seeds uh, I just used a coffee grinder and you can just keep the leftovers in a Ziploc bag. So you just put that straight in there like that. Now I've got psyllium husk powder and this stuff's really awesome actually. If you mix this with hot water, it will bind all of the ingredients together and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I'm just going to put this in with the dry ingredients like that. Now that was five tablespoons of it. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and I'm also going to add two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm just going to put that in like that and all I do then is mix it. So you just mix all of those ingredients together. So that's all mixed there. You can see that that's all mixed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to go over to the wet ingredients. Okay so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put three egg whites into this bowl. So I'm just gonna take these out. Now you separate the egg yolk from the egg white by passing the egg yolk back and forth between the shell. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the egg yolk in another container over here. Okay, so now I've got three egg whites and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna beat them. So take an electric mixer and mix them until white peaks form. Okay, so now I've beaten the egg whites. I'm just gonna remove these and I'm gonna mix in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now what the apple cider vinegar does is it helps expand inside the bread roll and what the psyllium husk does is it helps bind the ingredients together. So the psyllium husk is sort of like the balloon and the apple cider vinegar is like the expansion. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and we're gonna fold them together, okay? So we need a, a spatula like this and I'm just gonna fold the two ingredients together. So you just gently fold the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients here and it should start to go become quite thick. Now for psyllium husk, for it to actually work, you have to add hot water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one cup of hot water and I'm gonna put it in with this mix. Okay, so I've got one cup of hot water here and I'm gonna pour it in and the mixture is gonna to bind together really nicely. Check this out. Now it might separate a little bit at first, but once you start to mix it all in, it will really start to thicken up. Now, this is getting a little bit too hard to mix, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. This is the ingredients right here. Now, if you see that the hot water works really well at making this into a dough. So that looks about good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that in there and I'm gonna break it up into five parts. So this makes five bread rolls. So what I've done here is I've just broken the bread rolls up into pieces and this, in, this recipe is actually made six. So I'm just gonna roll these together with my hands. Some might be a little bit bigger, some might be a little bit smaller. That's totally okay. Okay, so I've got my six bread rolls in the bowl here and I'm just gonna grab a baking tray. Now all I have to do is I'm gonna put bread rolls 
on the baking paper and in the oven they will expand. To top these off I'm going to put some sesame seeds on top and it's going to make them really delicious. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these bread rolls in the oven I'm going to put them in there 50 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. That is also 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome back guys. Okay, so I've just taken these keto bread rolls out of the oven and they smell delicious. Check this out. This is an entire keto bread roll. These are so soft and squishy. They are just delicious. Now, <clears throat> you can store them any way you like. They're best eaten fresh. Um, but what I'd usually do is I store them in the fridge. They're totally okay to store in the fridge. Um, you just got to let them cool down before you put them in there. So these are the keto bread rolls and they're super easy to make. They taste delicious. Put some cheese, put some salami, put some ham, put whatever you want on it. They are your bread rolls. They are keto bread rolls. They are fantastic. Go and make them right now. I dare you. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. <laughs>